that's the dungeon. That's I right. choose the dungeon. Who do we got on the show? <laughs> Who's on the show? Who's on the show? Who's on the show? Amy Liz. This is going to come back, and oh, we're yeah? going to talk about some uh, concerts and Freedom Hill and see what she's got going on. Cool. And we also have no class assassin. Metal. Metal, Hardcore. right? Metal? Hell oh, yeah. Metal. You guys are allowed to talk. It's we're an like exciting country, show. We're like country and R&B. Country, R&B. Country and R&B, R&B. Yeah. Country and R&B, country and R&B mixed R&B with metal. crazy metal. metal. <laughs> Will we deba- uh, debuting the video? Or has it been out for a while? It's been out for about, I don't know, two months, three months. Oh, oh so it's fresh. It's, it's a fresh, fresh video. It's a Their fresh new video. We get to see this. One. I'm excited. We've got circus sideshow freak Adam Arcana from Doppelganger. Yeah. Sideshow circus. I can't oh, yeah, say is he it. Here? Double, Where's he at? Doppelganger. <laughs> <laughs> the doppelganger. He's, he's outside. In. He's, he's already pulling a hand. He's pulling a nail into his hand. He's here to. He is here to amaze us and freak us out at the same time, which I love. Who else? Even Maestro is excited by that. He's like, you, you, you never get to see the Maestro excited. I'd love to see people do harm. Well, we got a good buddy, Stoney. Sarah. We've got, we've Sarah. got Sarah from the band Conquer Divide. She's going to be here telling us all about that new band she's in. Well, it's actually like a little remix, so we'll find out from her. What's Formerly going Gates on. Babylon. Yep. Now they're doing their new thing. No, they're not there. No. They're never there. See, that? we didn't even talk about them. See, that? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so cut <I> that. <laughs> Well, so now she's out. She's we're doing on to a new show. project. And Maestro's got the other camera now, so we got two things going on now. So we got the DVD portion. Oh my of the god, show I'm so confused. That's and, so fun. And let's not forget about our favorite friend, the Mystery Skull. It's all loaded up. You all you gotta do is press play. That's how good we are around here at the dungeon now. See, look at that. See how professional. Well, we, we have are? Ella too. Ella Vulgari is gonna give a little <laughs> rock report. She's how you doing? Giving the rock, yeah. the rock yeah. report news. Yes. There's beer. There's some beer. Oh, you mean all oh, like us? I know. It wasn't, long, it wasn't long enough. You know us, we're, we're an addiction when we go out. Were you addicted to the show? Were you addicted to us? Oh, yeah. Addicted okay. <laughs> uh, I know. Were you addicted to us? <laughs> so then, of course, we right. have our weekly mystery skull. If you guys are just tuning in, you don't know about the mystery skull, you have three guesses three clues throughout the night to guess who the mystery skull is before we bring them out let the games begin that's right and here's the cool thing that's going to make your game a lot easier you can now go to the detroit dungeon website www.detroitdungeon.com click on the mystery skull you can actually put the answer on the very own mystery skull page and now we can actually answer the question so and people can see it's gonna be a lot easier and i know uh, we had some winners out there we had some losers too but that's the way the mystery skull goes. So, I'm welcome. glad, you know, but I'm really thankful that people actually try. So, <laughs> so keep it up. People. We got uh, awesome. some t-shirts we're going to give away, girls or guys, whichever way it may be. We got some ones. really, really crack looking pipes if you want one of those. That's Woo! right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got some crack pipes. We got pipes. all kinds of stuff to give away yeah, today. Yeah. We got, uh, no. I, oh, yeah, we can't forget about this. I'm going to hit one. We got Gigantor tour tickets, too, by the way. Courtesy of the guys out there in Las Vegas. Megadeth and all those guys are going to be giving those away. We don't know if we're going to be giving away on the show, though. We're going to figure that out. That might be kind of an add-up kind of thing, because we're going to be out there on a Monday night. So we're going to see. But How about we, we do those show guys. us your boobs? And that, the yeah, exactly. Boobs yeah, the biggest no. boobs. I got, I'm kidding. That works for me. <laughs> <laughs> right. Works yeah. for you? Yeah. Hey, I've gotten a lot by showing my boobs. Exactly. You got I'm a free tattoo. Lie, you, got a, a you got a free tattoo coming. I do. At Lucky Monkey. <laughs> At least you got something out of Lucky Monkey. We haven't got shit. <laughs> <laughs> you got your boobs showing? You got a tattoo. They were like, hey, we have a gift certificate, and I ran up there like, They're like, here, get out there and put a third boob on you in a tattoo. There you go. Anyhow, bad news is Shifty can't make it tonight. Swifty. Swifty. Swifty, Shifty. Swifty McVay. We were looking forward to meeting you, but. But he got in from Australia last night, jet lag and all that great stuff, and trying to get back in Next time, just come be jet lagged over here with us. Yeah, we're the best people to to chill with after being jet lagged. That's good. Exactly. <laughs> all fun. Anyways, he's going to try to make it out next Tuesday. We're going to see if we're going to be here next Tuesday because we might be on a little hiatus because we're going on tour. So that'll, go that'll be some of the stuff Chicago. we'll talk about later. So. Hey, where we're going to Chicago. We're going, Chicago. <laughs> yeah. But see, we'll talk about it. Um, There's things happening in Detroit. 
Well, I just wanted to, you know, just say that it was a fun weekend, and I enjoy that I got to go out with you, and we didn't work for once. We really just didn't work. We went and actually hung out and party. It's crazy, and huh? And it was fun. I know, because we never do that. Like, every time we go out, we're working in some way, shape, or form, but this was one time that we actually didn't work. Yeah, I know. And, and I get, loved it! And we get to take a cool date with us. Yeah, we had a date! It was so cool. It was great. Because we don't get the date either. It was, it was great. It was an actual night out. It was cool. It, it was fun. We dragged our friend Ella. She came along for the ride. She was very sweet. Ah! She was like our designated driver, <laughs> even though I don't drink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you had a good time, huh? We'll, we'll talk about that later. We'll talk about your paranormal experience. So what's coming up this week? What, oh, what? wait, wait, wait. Should we talk about that real quick? No, we'll talk about it later. You know, we'll get Why to later? It. All right. Kelly it was really great. Later. All right. No, like, okay, All right, like now that... No, here we go. Now that you brought it up, right. I had the freaking weirdest thing happen to me. Look at me when I'm talking to you. No. Because <laughs> oh, you're going to be like, what the oh, hell? Right. You're going to be like, what the hell? I'm in the bathroom, and I'm just doing my thing, peeing or whatever, in a porta potty Ten you know, feet? Ten feet from the fucking can, though. Well, Keep there's like mind. numerous. Yeah. No, I. <laughs> you have to. Be I probably just... like totally got up on it, like squatted over it, yeah, and it's totally. something totally crazy. Right. Um, but you know, and then I'm cleaning up and pulling my pants up and stuff, and I swear to God, a toilet paper roll came flying out of my head. <laughs> <laughs> it did. From the side. She goes like, out of the bathroom with door whapped, shock. It whapped me in the head like hard, and I was like, and I looked, and at first. You know when you're in a stall, like, you know, with a bunch of women next to you, somebody could very well go over the stall and whip it at you, and you would think, ha-ha, funny joke. That's what I thought. Like, I was drinking this stuff, and I thought, oh, she must be in the stall next to me throwing shit at me. And then I realized, oh, no, I'm in a porta potty How the hell could they have it? And still, I still cannot figure out. It must have been somehow, like... They usually don't sit on top either. It was melting the beast. Yeah. Right. So How would it be up on the ceiling? Because it literally came flying at so my So if face. you're at Freedom Hill and you happen to find out, if you happen to be in the stall and something comes flying, we want to hear your story. What was it? Was it Springer number? wants to hear from you. I don't know. I don't remember. But Shit it happens. Really, it was very, very, very strange. I, I couldn't so figure I it out for the life we, of me. I think we should bring in some type of psychic team. We should. We should. That'd be cool. Do like an evening session know, uh, Jen does that. But the can oh, has to be Jen. Yeah. Jen's got a team of people this? that do that. You're into it? Yep. Oh, see, what it's up. Oh, look! This is my friend's uh, uh, Black River Paranormal. Oh, oh good. We got somebody. We'll be talking about them when you guys come up. That's cool. We need to go back to uh, Northville Insane. Oh, yes. no, I think they might be turning it down. I do the paranormal thing. Oh, poor lady. Where were you? You could have been in there with a the can winner. You could have been getting you, all this. Usually when we're out at Freedom Hill, we're, we're tagging each other anyway. It was just anyways. a really <laughs> bizarre That's experience. So um, one of the other highlights I had at Freedom Hill was a uh, um, spaghetti man. Oh, spaghetti man, oh, yeah. Spaghetti man, because... If anybody knows Spaghetti Man, he's just this crazy loony guy, and he dresses up in these crazy suits, and he dances around at all the festivals, and I think a lot of people, you know, laugh at him and judge him, but all he wants to do is dance, and he wants to make people happy, and yeah. that's what makes him happy. Don't and pick on Spaghetti Man. During yeah. the electronic like music, like well, during the electronic yeah. music festival, some kids took him out into a parking lot, beat the fuck out of him. Yeah. Beat his face in. Yeah. So Spaghetti Man was there with White Shag. Yeah. He walked up. White Shag sounded yeah. phenomenal, yeah, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give it up for White Loved Shag. It. Yeah. And uh, so Spaghetti Man was dancing and high-fiving, and he's good to go. He's had a little bit of a black eye and yeah. stuff. But, oh, I hugged him, and I... Oh, it was a good experience. Yeah, I was so happy Spaghetti Man. He's a good guy. Don't you pick on Spaghetti Man, people. <laughs> Be happy that people want to put love and light into your life. Exactly. Honestly. Exactly. Speaking of love and light, um, <laughs> Counting Crows It's one of my favorites from growing up. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. I was into everything, though. And the Wallflowers. Yeah, yeah. Bob Dylan. Bill Dylan's kid, right? Yep. What's his name? Jacob? Something like that? Jacob. Jacob? Yeah. yeah Jacob. That's Thursday, and it's at Meadowbrook. Cool, it's wild, because I thought those guys kind of faded. I haven't heard from them in years. I haven't heard of, you know, I yeah. haven't heard, I don't listen to the radio, though, but the Counting Crows and the Wallflowers in many, many years, but they bring back <clears> so many good memories. That'd be a great concert just to reminisce if you were into that kind of stuff. I was into everything, like, back then from Primus to Counting Crows. Like, I had really weird 
And then I listen to Broadway musicals and stuff. Sure. I'm still like that too. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a dork. <laughs> so yeah, that's Thursday. What do you got? Wednesday night over there at uh, Corktown Tavern. They've got a good one. It's going to be the Heart Like Lions uh, Booking Presents uh, Info Riot. There's going to be an old punk show. Oi, oi, oi. You remember that shit? Oi. No, you don't remember that shit. I oi, do oi, remember, remember that. that? Yeah. yeah you were talking to some spring chicken here. Ah. <laughs> and uh, so they got a whole bunch of cool ass people on there, including uh, the antagonized local band Choking Susan. You may know about them. Yeah. Detroit 442 and Ironclad. Tickets are 12 bucks at the door. If you get them in advance, they're 10 bucks. Uh, I believe the show starts at like 7, so if you're into the old punk scene, great place over there, the Corktown Tavern, which, if you haven't been over to the Corktown area, is looking better every day. Uh, the entire block now is awesome. Cool. Yeah, it's looking good. I've it's, always liked it down I there. I love Corktown. I've Tavern. always liked it down there. Yeah. You know, um, we'll see a good show. There's a lot of old school people coming back. Like, a lot of, you know, you hear of some new people, but it, like, it seems like the summer of the comebacks or the... There's so many old bands that you're hearing coming and touring again. Um, Bow Wow Wow. Yep. Did, w okay, name one of those songs. I Like Candy. I Know a or, Boy's like, oh, like That candy. one, right? Yeah, Two? Yeah, I think so. Isn't think, that Bow Wow Wow? Yeah, something like that. I, I, I like, like Candy. Yeah. And then they do a really yeah. fucking like weird it. Christmas one. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah. like... <laughs> All our freaky friends get freaky prizes at Christmas? Well, no, it's a d it's like just demented, like it's just a dumb, weird Christmas song. Gina loves Jezebel is going to be there, too. Gene, Gene loves, loves Jezebel. Jezebel. Gene and loves Strawberry Jezebel. Alternative. That's going to be a good one. It sounds like a grungy night, so all you dreadlock motherfuckers, go out there and have some fun <laughs> before you go back to Seattle. No, <laughs> It's at the Token Lounge, if I didn't say that. Yeah, and uh, right. APOC, uh, con that's the APOC Concert Series, Doc uh, Colony, that's his uh, yeah. group, so yeah, we're going to be putting that on, so, good guy. Wait, what is it? It's uh, APOC Concert Series, uh, Doc Colony, one of the guys in the... Wait, the Bow Wow Wow one? Yeah, the Bow Wow, that's oh, his okay. show, yeah, that's his show. Cool. Yeah, yeah. so it's a cool. good, uh, yeah, he puts on some good shows. <laughs> Woo! So get the Token. Uh, he just did B-52. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, still, still like, oh, oh, here we go, here we go. I was looking at your cue. I know. Uh, Rapper Showcase presents the Black Opera over there at the Loving Touch. We found out that this is actually a bar. The Loving Touch. It's not like some little massage uh, parlor in uh, Ferndale. Uh, <laughs> it's not that kind of a Loving Touch. It's a bar. Anyways, the Black Opera. Draft. I love the Black Opera. If there's a band or artist you want to see, hip-hop artist band, I think they're like everything. They're so cool. They've got to cover all aspects, oh. I think. Uh, you clued Check me in on out. who they yeah. are. And, uh, now, the originators of that fucking problem song by ASAP yep. Rocky, the beat was originally from, from the Black Opera in Detroit, yeah. and their lyrics are a lot more meaningful. Yep. Um, and their video's badass. They, they, they club bad bitches. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. Fucking yeah. yeah. But they were the originators, and their, their words are like, because they're from Detroit in the hood, and their lyrics are way more deep and meaningful. Yeah. I think that's why the other... They ripped off the beat and they took their lyrics and made it a popular song because it was just stupid and fun and not yeah. political and not deep. It was just, I want to fuck a bitch on that fucking problem. You know, like it was just like. You know, like they're really raising the bar in the hip hop community again, you know. They dumbed it down again, and then so it was not, a success. Not, not people in the hip hop can get it. I mean, like, you know. No, it just shows mainstream. how dumb the American people are. Exactly. I'm sorry, people of America. Yep. But. <laughs> if you want to see but the some original good song is amazing. This, this also is. goes to say with rock and roll because we also grouped them in there too. But if you want to see some good hip hop and good music, go see the black. Should I sneak in there with you? Yes. Really? At the loving touch, man. <laughs> the loving touch, man. <laughs> Clear Soul is going to be there. Detroit City is going to be there. Cold Men. Uh, DJ Davy Boy. He's going to be putting the ones and twos down. Oh, Davy Boy Wonder. That's how good he is. He's a wonder. Ten bucks. Fucking ten bucks. Oh, I'm that'd be to... cool. Fuck yeah. Go see him. I've never been you. to the loving I'm touch telling before. You, go see where real hip hop <laughs> is happening. Like the other night. I'm going to tell you. The other night, I had a blast. The Legends of Hip Hop. Fucking real hip hop. Cool. Oh, it's fucking the shit. I'm, I'm mad. I sat at home and did nothing. It was the shit. Like a door. We were running. You wanted to stay home anyways. It was good for you. So you relaxed and you got to work on your flyer. Yeah, I got to make my flyer, but I also sat on my butt. And, and you worked on your flyer. Yeah. There you go. And you I gave my liver a break. And you I gave guess. your liver a break. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. All right.
right, well, um, Steve Adler of Guns N' Roses is coming back. I right? can't believe it. But He's yes. at the Diesel Concert Lounge on Friday. Um, that's in Chesterfield. But wasn't he the one that was... Was he the one that was around Christmas time giving away? Exactly. He was there. Roses. For, no, he was here for the Valentine's Day. What, what was it? At the like Detroit roses? Club. Roses. Oh, he gave away roses. Because he was in that band. What the hell was his band? As long as they gave him some panties, you could get a whole dozen, now. girl. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, two lips on my organ are better than roses on my piano. <laughs> it's the next new Guns N' Roses song. That's right. <laughs> Yeah, he used to hang oh out with God. that band. I don't remember who the hell that lead singer was. Axel somewhere else. Oh, gosh. That was his name, yeah. Oh, that whiny guy? Yeah, that guy. He's <laughs> always late, but he gets paid. He <laughs> was, you know, he was an amazing artist, recording-wise, but live, he just was awful. Yeah. And, yeah you know, and that's just like how it is. Time. He was a good time. He was a good time. I don't think anybody liked working with him because he was not a good time. He was a pain in the ass. <laughs> he was a diva. You've got nothing better to do on Saturday, so go check out this at the Old Miami. It's going to be the second annual Great American Slams and Jams Super Show. You know if they put Super Show on the end, it's going to be something pretty fucking big. Well, and they got wrestlers. Yes, they got wrestlers down there, and they're going to be with some bands. We got wrestlers? Some of the, yeah, wrestlers. It's going to be like, we're going to talk about that with No Class Assassins, because I think they're involved in it, because they're on the bill. You're not going to be like Axel and not show up. Involved? Yeah, you're no, involved. No, okay, 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 okay. You want to show this weekend? Yeah, exactly. This weekend. Can I like, can I like, okay, can I ask some questions? Here? Yeah. It's at the old Miami. Yep. There's supposed to be wrestlers yep. and bands. Yep. Is there a separate wrestling ring and a separate stage? Yep. Okay. That's the greatest thing about the old Miami. Know a lot of people don't like, know. They were going to switch a band and then put the no. wrestling up. And the great part about like... the old Miami is a lot of people don't know this, but they got this big ass backyard. <laughs> and they actually, we were there one day. And they put it to work. There was something going so. on, and we stopped there first, and we walked in and hung out for a second, but we only went there that one day, I think. Right. Anyhow, so uh, if you check out that show, they got Movado on there. Uh, Black G's going to be on there. Um, we got Hebrew Hammer. We've got. Uh, Bands, which is going to be Brownstown Girls. We've got Genghis Khan, Native Signal, No Class Assassins. Uh, we might know those guys. And this is a Jake Shunt Productions. Tickets are only 7 bucks if you get there before 7 o'clock after that. So these are all hard bucks. rock bands, huh? Rock bands, I think, yeah. It's probably a mix. Like that. There's even, I think, some hip-hop. Yeah, because oh, oh, okay. Genghis Khan just hip-hop. So, yeah. Yeah. So Genghis Khan. I think we're probably the only I like that. <laughs> Metal. Yeah, quite possible. Uh, metal. Oh, we got another metal person in the house. Hey, like also, a, a um, metal. metal. On Saturday <laughs> is uh, Jimmy Eat World. I think. I think. Yeah. Oh, okay. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. Does Jimmy Eat World does? Do they do that one? Just take some time. Yep. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. Okay, if you're really into 90s music, like all these bands that are coming back, then Saturday you can go see Jimmy Eat World too. Goo Goo Dolls, everybody. You're just going to have a whole Cougar Fest this week, girls. It's, no. it's, a, it's a Cougar Fest. Cougar fest. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Well, think about it. Like, it's all them 90s yeah, they're, bands they're and all those. Yeah. Now they're older. Right, now they all got kids and shit. Oh, I'm going to take you to see the Goo Goo Dolls. Guys, the Goo -Goo always Dolls. remember, divorced pussy is the best pussy. Yeah, these might be shows for you guys to go out. <laughs> ah, Amy. <laughs> these might be good shows for guys to go out too because there are going to be a lot of cougs. Cougars? Shit. Yeah. Speaking of cougars. Uh... Stop talking about me. All right. <laughs> Gigantor. Once again, the 90s. Gigantor. It's so fucking big, it's called Gigantor. <laughs> and it's so big, they're going to have it at DTE. Better known as Pine Knob. Oh my gosh! And it's so big that we might give away tickets this week if you're cool. Uh -oh. You're gonna have to pay attention because we got two tickets here for Gigantor. And guess who it's featuring? Megadeth. Remember those guys? Uh, Megadeth, who, Black Label who's Society. Who's our biggest fan? Post your picture on our Detroit Dungeon Live Facebook page we're gonna and see. let's see who gets the most likes by Friday. Yep, we're gonna see what's up. We got Hell Yeah! And we got Newstead. They're gonna be on the bill. That? I think so. Okay. We're gonna work it out. We're gonna work it through the week here. We're no, gonna I get think they out. need to post their pictures now oh, on yeah. our Facebook page, and then let's see who can get the most likes. Yeah. 
yeah. for us, and we were going to win some tickets. Well, that was yeah, courtesy of our sure. good friends out there at Buzz TV <laughs> out there in Las Vegas. And you get the picture, too. I just want to give no. I want to. I want to thank the people out there first, though, at no. Buzz TV out there in Las Vegas, because those are the guys who actually sent us the tickets. So thank you, fellas. Be rad. You're a good guy. So make sure you watch buzztv.ws. Well, you know, I never said that Jimmy E. World was at the Royal Oak Music Theater, by the way. Well, I wasn't really racing. Oh, and they're with Ex Ambassadors. That awesome band who I have no clue who they are. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't At least you're them. honest. Hey, hey I am very, I'm always honest. That's one thing you can get from me. Well, honestly, I got you covered. <laughs> you got nothing else to do. Oh my gosh. Another 90s bus. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> On Saturday, it's Matchbox 20 and the Goo Goo Dolls. <laughs> I couldn't handle all this fucking like, menopause rock, man. I mean, literally. <laughs> Dude, I mean, I'm telling you. you know what I mean? Menopause rock. You know, I know I mean, like, literally. It's like, oh my God. You know, like, I'm, I'm, just, making, I'm not making fun of any of their fans I, you know, or anything, but you know. <laughs> I mean, I need a little music with ass to it. You know, it's got to have Detroit, a little... can we bring some new group? Please. But anyway, no. no, that's good that they're coming. Those chicks like to drink, and they're fun when they're drunk. <laughs> That's at DTE. It's really gonna. As long as, guys, I don't play that, long as I don't play that shit in bed, I'm fine. If I can play the ministry, that's cool. <laughs> we can have a good time. All right. All right. What you got? I got one. Last. It's because Swifty's well, not here. We're breaking down, man. No, you're not. I'm not breaking down. Get it together, <laughs> son. <laughs> How you doing? How you doing? You okay? Everything look good? We, are, we still recording? All right, well... We got a lot I, more. Check I this think, out. What? We got a good thing coming up. I was waiting up. on you. Oh, you were? Oh, yeah. okay. Oh, shit, I didn't know it was me. Shit. All right, well... That's my okay, cue. Okay, one, two, three, go. I'm going to be doing a hip-hop show. This is like a first. I don't even know what the hell hip-hop is. But anyways, I'm going to be spinning... You know old school. I know old know. school. I know good fucking hip-hop. I'll be spinning Detroit hip-hop and old school hip-hop. And Novi Novak will be the... Uh, the main guy. You got I, King Joker to help you with King Joker's doing putting, the whole thing. It's their actual right. production and, and to put all the music and, together yeah. and all that stuff. So, so I'm gonna be doing a little hip hop yeah. thing that night, so you don't wanna miss out. Anyways, it's gonna be at the Diesel Concert Lounge. It's courtesy of our good friends King Joker Diesel. Promotion. Diesel Concert Lounge. Um, and Sick Nasty, they're putting the whole thing together. Novi Novak from Chicago's coming in. They got a nice little bill of people. On there, and you want to make sure you check it out. Matt Riddle's going to be hosting. He's coming out a little bit later on. Tell us a little about a bit about the show, and uh, we're going to give away some tickets uh, to the show. So that's next Wednesday, a week from this Wednesday, July 10th. Uh, our good buddies, uh, who's always helping us out, King Joker Promotions and Sick Nasty. So make sure you see that Sick one. Sick Nasty. Yeah, I know I'll who be, Dirt uh, Nasty is. Is this his cousin? It could be. <laughs> yeah, never know. Yeah, Sick never know. But uh, yeah, I'll be doing, uh, we'll be doing some old school that night. I look cool. forward to it. So. 89X Birthday Bash pre presents the Unity Tour 2013, and this is on Sunday, and I think this is going to be the best show. I want to go to this so bad. If somebody wants to take me, then Ooh, me. look who's there. I'm going to take you. 311 yep. with Cypress Hill. Yeah. And G Love that. and Special Sauce. Yeah. And I am Dynamite. I'm not familiar with the last band, but I do know G Love is in Special Sauce. Cypress 311. Hill. Where's that at? Cypress Hill. It's at DTE. Ooh, well, we may have to go out there. We That's that. going to be. We got that handicap pass. We can use it now. No. You got to erase that. Dude, we can edit on that on that shit. I, I told him it wasn't going to be a good idea either. It looked like a three year old road maybe, on it. Maybe we can We're going to work on it. We're going to get a new one. Yeah. I was listening to 311 earlier. I was listening I, you know what's to really weird? Amber is the color of your energy. Whoa! Wow. Remember that song? I, I, don't, remember I don't know 311 very well. What? I know them a little bit, but here's what I know. What? I no. love fucking Cypress Hill and G's, G Love. G Love's cool. Well, if you don't love 311, then you're just weird, but you're I weird just, anyway. I'm so. weird. <laughs> it, comes with, it comes with the package, man. Anyhow. I have no idea how much it Speaking costs of fucking weirdos, of stuff, but. all our weirdo <laughs> buddies are going to be down in Chicago. So we're going, we're going out of state here for a minute because we might be on tour here next week and we'll be at Exotica. Ella's going to be there. I'm going to be there. Kelly might be there. We're going to figure all this out. We're going to definitely let you know by next Tuesday, but we do want to mention it. Just in case you got nothing to do in Chicago, next, the 12th Ooh. through the 14th, come and party oh, yeah. with a bunch of girls, a bunch of party stars, <laughs> and Dan Diamond. He'll be down there. Silent Riot will be down there. Uh, our guy, our guy oh Larry. Gosh, they're famous. 
I know. Larry from SexCon is going to be there. Adrian is the guy who's throwing the event. Thanks a lot. Uh, Exotica, you do not want to miss this event. It's going to be a lot of fun. And it's going to happen at the Donald Stevens Convention Center. And it starts like in the afternoon and it goes till late. So you can't go wrong. It's like strippers, porn stars, and all that good stuff. You don't have my flyer loaded in there. Which one? For yes, I do. Show. That's good. Oh, it's coming yeah? up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, where are you at? Hold on. <laughs> so last thing I was going to talk about is my show. Yep, here we go. At the Landing Strip. Yay! Yes, yeah. yes, yes. I am doing yet another, what I like to call burlesque, but I guess it's more like cabaret. I don't know. There's a difference, a big difference, I guess. But um, I do just singing, old-timey sounding songs and stripping and I don't know. A little mix of everything. I was oh, going to. Look at that. Oh, look at the. Oh, I have service. Look at that. I am a queen. <laughs> Good service. I know, that's awesome. Where's my tip, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> I got a tip right here for you, baby. Yeah. No. <laughs> She's not the mystery skill. Not no, no, okay. but you know what? Um, if you guys have never seen one of my shows, everybody always really likes it a lot. And I think one of the main things that people are surprised about is that I can actually really sing good live. Because, like, last time people were just coming up to me and they were like, There's no way, no way that was you. I was like, Yep. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, <laughs> I've never seen anything like this at a strip club. No, you have not. Oh, that's cute. Thank you. No, pay me. It's clever because it rhymes. And, she made, the, and she made the banner, too. And she made the flyer. Now that's what you're talking. Not only does she have talent singing, but she made the flyer, too. Scratch pretty damn good, huh? Scratch his no, good. I like You look so good, Ella. <laughs> yeah. I'm live, so it's going to be crazy. I'm going to have my girls, the Motor City Dolls, in the house. Um... If you are a Motor City doll and you're listening, you get to come in, and if you'll get on stage with me and just dance around, you get, if you want to work, you get free tip out, but you'll get free drinks for the night. So, any Motor City dolls who are listening, there you come go. and join me on stage. I will dress you and tell you what you Mama. do. Well, they're not hearing in Detroit, so get your ass out to Vegas, and they'll make you feel at home because it's at the D Casino, which is all about Detroit. We'll figure that out when we get there. Anyways, uh, the D Casino is hiring Dancing bartenders and dancing. What else are they dancing? Yeah. Right? Dancing dealers. That would that would have been. <laughs> no, I don't know if I want my dancing dealer to be fucking dancing. Dude, dealer. so if you're young and you're looking for an adventure, then you should apply. There you go. Yeah. What else would be better than moving to Vegas and becoming a dancing bartender? There you go. It's not like you're a stripper. That's I what mean, they said in their little thing. They're like, hey, you can make more money than a stripper. Well, there's always that, like, well, I'd love for them to take over the top of their nap thing, and therefore guys sometimes pay more, you know? Yeah, I'll quote what they say. No experience required. Learn and earn more money dealing than most strip casinos. What is the date? Is that for today? Oh, most strip casino, my fault. Stripping optional. What's that? Okay, here's the deal. Here's how it works. It's going to go on right now. Uh, right now it's going on from, like, 6 till 8 tonight. And then tomorrow from 6 to 8. So obviously if you're in Detroit, it's not going to do you any good. But you're out in Vegas. I know you are. And you're watching out there. <laughs> and it's the D Casino. It's about Detroit. So they should have this shit pumped right into the casino floor, right? That's the thing. They're all Detroit. I don't think we get any more motherfucking Detroit than you and me and you, right? There you go, baby. I don't know. Anyways, so uh, if you need a job you're in Vegas. <laughs> I don't know. And if you know how to dance and strip and, like, fucking deal cards, you got yourself a job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know what else to say. I got no idea. I don't know how to deal with cards. That's the news. I can do everything else though. That's the news. You can deal. You can deal. No, I'm not a card. I'm not a card game type of person. I never have been. Oh, I don't either. I can't play that. Like when other people like to play video games, I like to play pinball. Like I'm just my brain doesn't work correctly. I guess. It's all right. I'm gonna knock your heads together. You communicate with us. You can't talk amongst each other. My dad was just showing me some of her art. All right, so we need to give away our first mystery skull clue. Hey, we're going to give away some tickets. We're going to give away a t-shirt. Well, okay, yeah. Tonight, whoever answers the mystery skull clues and guess who our guest will be. Uh, you guys, I'm about ready to kill you. 
We're gonna give away um, some we're tickets. We're gonna, <laughs> I can't think when you're talking. We're gonna give away some tickets to the Novi Novak show, which is next Wednesday. Yep. Yeah, correct. Yep. Yes. The tenth of July. Yes. So July tenth. What a perfect way to celebrate the afterbirth of our independence. Yes. Yes. The yeah, I'm going to, uh, <laughs> give <me> a <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> yes. Yes. And then we're going to also give maybe throw in like uh, a nice t-shirt. Well, we got t-shirts, we got posters, maybe they can decide. They Whatever can decide. you want. Well, you want decide. a t-shirt, you want a poster. Now here's the Girls, question. if you decide, I recommend the t-shirt because it's honest to gosh the most How does it comfortable. Feel? It feels wonderful. Isn't it the most comfortable shirt? It's become my go-to shirt and we have them on I our website. Wait to make it. I mean, we have them on our website for only $13. But they are the most comfortable shirt. It's a shirt that I find It'll be in my dirty clothes and I'll still pull it out and put it on for the day and then back in the dirty clothes and then back out of the dirty clothes. Like, it's that kind of a shirt. It's soft, it's cuddly. Well, we saw and you, we saw girls' boobies look really good in it. It even <laughs> makes my boobs look good. Your boobs look so good. Woo! Look at that. Isn't that nice? Anyway, so let's, let's give away that clue. Let's do it. Yep. You want to do it together? Uh, yes. All right. One, One of his best, best senses, senses is not, not his sight. sight or smell. But, but it's the way he hears. Ooh, we'll let you do it one more time. All right. One of his best senses is not his sight or his smell, but it's the way he hears. Once again, if you know what the answer is, all you have to do is put his name or her name up on our webpage. Go to Detroit What's Dungeon. Him? Yeah, we can go with that. I guess, yeah, it's What's a him. He? Anyhow, just uh, <laughs> DetroitDungeon.com, Mystery Skull, click on there. You can post it. We got our Facebook thing right there, so we'll be able to get it a lot quicker. Uh, throw it up on Facebook. We're around. We're going to be looking. How you doing over there? Are you changing? No, she's fucking rubbing it. I'm being a little nasty. I know, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I love when you're dirty and you're metal. I love it, I love it, I love it. You're dirty and metal, all in one. Dirty and metal. You're so who are we bringing out first? I don't know, who wants to come out first? Who wants to come out first? Me. Well, you. Me. Let's bring out Amy. You want to bring out Amy to talk, uh, to talk about more? Uh, let's bring out yeah, our, let's bring let's, out, let's bring out our, let's bring out our first guest with the metal guys. Why not? Metal guys. Let's bring out. Yeah. Okay. I love the metal guys. So, yeah, let's so bring they're metal coming out. from where? Port Huron. All the way yes. from Port Huron. All the way from Port Huron, you guys. It's no no bad. Bad. It's it's From the films of Port Huron. The films of the Well, you're not the Bill Street. Yet. The Bill of the Port Huron, yeah, man. Z Fifth. Yeah. Huh, so. Welcome. Please, Arlie. Welcome. 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 You know what? Let's What's say up? boy, girl, boy, girl. Boy, girl, boy, girl. Boy, girl, boy, girl. Let's do it. So you can feel comfortable. Hi. 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 We all in this? How are ya? We're all in here. We're yeah, all, we're, we're all live. Busy. Welcome to the show. No class assassins. So what's up? Hey, what's up? No class assassins. What's your much. name? My name's Jay. Jay. Dave. Dave. Dude. Awesome. Dude. Thanks for being here, you guys. They are no Thank class you. assassins. Look at that. We've got your billboard up here, man. Yeah, did you guys see that yet? Yeah, we posted yes, we that did. on our Facebook. Cool. So you guys got all these prizes and stuff, and you're all in, in, like, basically you got everything going on because Ella said that's all you guys do is just shows, and you're getting paid and load it. You got tickets, and this is actually um, the new sampler from Hatewear Incorporated clothing line, clothing line, uh, which the guy uh, Christian, I don't know his last name. That's all right. From Dead by Wednesday, he uh, picked us. Christian Satan. <laughs> um, no, it's actually uh, the wrong one. it's passed out at every hate breed show and vision of disorder and every mayhem fest. Cool. Yeah, we're track 18 on there. Blacked out. I thought it was pretty cool. All right, man. So how'd you guys get up on that? Sweet. Somebody just calling you? Said yeah, the guy the from Dead by Wednesday. Yeah, uh, Christian contacted us on Facebook, yeah. didn't he? Yep. That's yeah. cool. He's a fan of the band. So Very tell us calm. a little bit about No Class Assassin. What are they, we, we, uh, what are we tear ass on? Uh, nice, yeah. fucking lovely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to hell. I'm blowing it away from me. I don't want it to go exactly. near my face. Nice. That about sums it up. That about sums up <laughs> the I show. I kept my face okay. forward. Good <laughs> on you. You gotta go like this. You gotta belt and then go. I blew it out. Ooh. Okay, good. You did. You did. You did. He did that. Ooh. Are we all on screen? <laughs> All right, so I like you already. You're comfortable <laughs> with me, and I like that. It's awesome. Just don't fart around it. Because we ain't got the no, oh, Speaking fart, of incense, no, don't fart. Do that Unless it's a That's a bad thing, because I fart all the time. <laughs> I just want to tell you. Oh, we got Quiet. Okay. 
Feel free to light another one. Feel free to light another one. So how long have you guys been a band? Yeah. Uh, uh, okay. Like 2009. We played our first show January 9th, 2009. Um, We've just been playing shows ever since. Uh, opened up for Misfits, opened up for Mushroom Head, Bury Your Dead, Throw Down. We, I Hate God, Obituary. Obituary. We War. played uh, the 2010 Warp Tour with I Wrestle the Bear once. Dillinger Escape Plan, I Bring Me the, the Horizon, Immure. Yeah. We're going for it again this year. We're up for the Battle of the Bands, and we're doing pretty good. We're at 80%. Okay, well, how can people vote? Oh, go stuff? to uh, battleofthebands.com and search for No Class Assassins and vote for us, please. So it's battleofthebands.com. Yep. Do a search for No Class Assassins, and then throw them your vote if you're watching. Listen to our tracks. We just released a... Do you have any music videos? <clears throat> yes, we do. Two. Okay, yep. I think they we should. We got one here, let's check it out. Look it up yeah. on YouTube. Yeah, let's see. Let's see Watch your noggin. Well, we all kind of got to go like this. Yeah. You got to talk. <laughs> We're going to see if it works. Hold on. Yeah. I know why the going's so slow. Where's the music? Oh, we ain't got no music. Hold on one second here. Hold on. Oh, you know what? We might have cut it. What's the director? Uh oh. We did. The director did. is oh, Ed Sorek. Well, come back to it. It's like the end of the world. Oh my god. It's an interesting combination. You I know, it has the flyer and the. Yeah, I know. Okay. It's really cool. See how that looks, man? It's like fucking neat. Wow. Huh? It is like neat. It's amazing. I know. <laughs> it is very it's fucking, fucking neat. <laughs> it's fucking neat. Well, well, anyway, so we'll talk about that in a second here. <laughs> we did just release a song uh, with Kevin Talley from Black Dahlia Murder. And oh, that's awesome. Battle Cross. Battle Cross. Um, Dying Fetus, he played with Devil Driver and auditioned for Slayer. He plays drums on our cover of Cocaine that we just released, uh, the J.J. Kale or Eric Clapton. You should be interviewing them because you know a lot more about this music <laughs> than I do. We'll interview ourselves. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I They're talking about themselves. So, oh. Dave, uh, when did you first know you wanted to play guitar? Never. Never? <laughs> I'm just, I'm in the heaviest, but yeah, maybe not go. the heaviest. You are the heaviest. Well, the heaviest I, mean, heavy. I mean, I like in this we'll moment, and I like all the older stuff, like, you know, like Slipknot. There you go. We like know. Slipknot, Pantera, Slayer. Okay, what's good, because that's the my generation. Music? What's the softest music? <laughs> what's the softest groove metal? Yeah, like 80s and 90s. Like, what do you guys, what would be like, do you guys actually ever listen to, like, Barry Manilow or anything like that, or it has to be all metal? <laughs> no, I listen to, like, The Doors, The Animals. Yeah. yeah. You can never, you could have never mount that. Though. If you're in a metal band, you can never say, man, I really like fucking, you know, Barry um, Manilow. Who the fuck actually likes Barry Manilow? I'm a huge fan of Barry Manilow, man. Oh, suck a dick. Fucking yeah. Manilow, man. Fucking Mandy. You do not like Barry Manilow. Are you me kidding me? Mandy, Mandy brings me to tears. I don't even know. To but tears. Don't game. make fun oh, of me, so asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a big Melissa Etheridge fan. There you go. Oh my god. That's fine. Come to my window, Bring baby. Bring it down, Prince. Bring it down. My window. I do. I do like a lot of Prince. Say an old school Madonna. Oh my god. There you go. Breaking oh, it down, Prince, man. This Prince is like an intervention. For Human you guys, League, man. Yeah. 80s, New Age. But you know what? I don't know. Flaws. I honestly, I can't say about Madonna, but I don't know too many people who don't love old school Prince. If you don't love old Good school call. Prince, Rain. period, you are just an asshole. Right. You either love Prince or you're a total dick. Two classes of well, yep. I like Sorry. Prince. I like Prince and I'm still a dick. Exactly. There you go. <laughs> nice. But man, just Prince. Prince. Ooh. All right, let's talk no class assassins. What do we got on yeah. it's metal. Don't That's our EP. Yeah. This is our EP. Uh, BJ Perry from The Product Junior. produced and engineered it. And... Mike Hasty from Walls of Jericho mixed and mastered it. Um, five tracks. You can get it on our band camp, and you can get it on iTunes. Let's do it on Spotify before you buy it. All that good stuff. <laughs> so who writes the music? Do you guys all write it together? Or? Yep. It's yeah. a group thing. Yep. If we all don't like it, then we don't. It's not a finished product. Yep. And I've said this before, and I'll say it again. It's like when you find the perfect mesh of people, that's when you can actually write and things can come together. If you don't find that, it's just never gonna happen. No matter you what, it has so to be people. difficult somewhat. Mm -hmm. It's like having four girlfriends. 
That's right. Yeah, for sure. Uh, it's yeah. hard. Yeah. I've done that before. I have or in my case, five. <laughs> <laughs> and again, they all know each other, so that's okay. I guess that's a good thing. Four. Four? She's in a really good band. She's in a really good band. They have a screamer girl that would blow your fucking mind. Oh yeah. It's a double reason. She'll blow your mind and make your weenie hard. Tickets. Tickets for DM3. She'll blow my veg and make my weenie hard. Dave, man. Talk about it. What do we got here? There we go. It's them. Oh! <laughs> I can see some love music there. Yeah. <laughs> For me to practice and whatnot. Um, do you have I to like, warm up yes. and do all the geeky things that I do? Geeky, so I, geeky things? Do they involve pencils and pens? I go, and, I go. Sh yeah. Sharpies? I go, me, me, my, mo, mo. <laughs> like, I know all these really dumb ass fucking, like, you know, voice. You actually did that? That was weird. That's cool. Me, me, my, mo, mo. I used to do that in chorus. Yeah, we used to do that in chorus all the like, time. Anchorman, how now, brown cow. Right. Yeah, 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 I do all that, like, just geeky stuff, but you... I love scotch. But you... I, I just warm up She's screaming for the other band. <laughs> <laughs> I just there go like... Oh! Man. You should hear him in the studio. <laughs> so you guys both sing? in the shower. Or? You both sing? No. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool, because usually I have yeah, just a lead singer, and the guy just... But you, like, do you... Well, we you scream or? and we sing. Okay. So you're screamers and singers at the same time. Now, how does Ella get in the mix on this? Do you just bring her along She's so she can stab or something? We say, sit there, watch. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Metal, metal. Ella has played Stick a show with us. Stick something in your face. Yeah. yeah. It. it was fun. It was fun. Mm -hmm. She's coming back. Do you right? do the grind? The grind? I'm sure we'll be playing other shows together. Wow. Yeah, she played a show with us at Seeker's Show Bar. Mm -hmm. And it was fun. Yeah. It turned out well. Yeah. Okay. So. More in the making. Did you do the metal grinder? I did. Oh, yeah. I, did. I love it. Love she was it. a bloody mess. I was a fucking mess. A bloody mess. mess. A bloody Didn't help that she was sick, but she still did awesome. Oh, bloody bronchitis. Nobody knew. I'm like, let's fucking do this. Awesome. So she when's your next team. show, you guys? Yeah, well, what when are you performing at? Tickets, so we are, is this your next show? Yeah. No, we're playing that, that the flyer that you had up there. Yeah, for, let's uh, bring that back. The old Miami. Yeah, let's go back to that. The old Miami. Sounds so yeah. fancy. It's like on Ocean Drive. Yeah, it's like the CBD <laughs> of Detroit. Sunset nah, Boulevard. it's in Detroit, bitch. In California. No. Here we are. Look at that. They're on the bill. The parade, yeah. the beer section. They're actually, they're actually famous. We didn't bring in non-famous people. No, that's a flyer. That's a flyer that didn't even hold anything back. They were like, we got Necro this, Butcher. this, 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 Necro this, Butcher. Necro Butcher is going to be there. Yeah, he's Necro Butcher was in that movie, The Wrestler. 
with oh, Mickey yeah? Rourke. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, no shit, huh? He was the guy who shook his that hand and talked awesome. about gigging himself backstage and stuff. And these guys actually do vile shit to themselves, Yes, too, they right? do. Yeah, they're, they're like real wrestlers. They split their heads open. <laughs> they just yeah. blood. Shit. We're big fans. <laughs> yeah. That to me is like nuts, though. I mean, it's like... If you, if you, I'm I mean, a huge wrestling geek, so... That's cool, man. So it's who were some of your favorite big. wrestling guys back in the day, though? Like, back in the day? Like around, You know who's from here, right? Your least favorite? Okay, who's your wrestler from here? I'm a Rhino? Yeah, but there's another one. Sabu? Ham Tramick? George Animal Steel. Oh. I didn't know that. Yeah, George Animal Steel. Yeah, I didn't know that either. Yeah, he's a big guy in in the unit. But yeah. Anyway, some of them. Some of your favorite guys back in the day. Back in the day or currently as well? Back in the day. Since I'm a geek. The Warrior. Mick Foley. (laughs) Such a big Mick Foley fan, I have a tattoo. Wow. Oh, that's awesome. uh, Good job, Maestro. Here you go, brother. You win tickets, bro. Good fucking luck. <laughs> Thank you very much. There you go. Good luck. We'll be there. You'll be filming, but you won the tickets anyway. All right. Un- Undertaker. Girls. All right, Undertaker, yeah? The Undertaker. Did you guys ever... You remember when... when uh, what was it? The, there was the break-off that came around. It was like the NWA or some shit. Not the NWA, but there was NWO. one... NWO. The NWO. New the NWA. No, no, no. It was... Uh, <laughs> They came out with Break Me Up, so fool! They came out of New York and they actually started to do all the crazy no. shit with hitting people. The ECW. The ECW, yeah, that's what it Tommy was. Tommy Dreamer, yeah. Sandman. Yeah, Sandman, yeah, there you yeah. go. Sandman was cool because he was the only guy that started swearing and I think he smoked to it. Everybody's like, oh, yeah, yeah he, he smoked. Hit himself with the beer yeah, until he bled yeah, before yeah, the match. Yeah. I was like, well, I remember when that first came out. I was out in New York City. I'm like, what in the fuck is this shit? It's going everywhere fast, but nobody's going to like it because look at a guy smoking, he's swearing, and then they brought out this ladder and he starts smashing each other over the head. Terry Funk. Yeah, <laughs> it's some pretty intense shit, man. I love it. Yeah. This. this, though. That. This. Yeah, what's that? These are tickets we have to sell. Uh-oh. This is going to okay. be the, a good show. Uh, this is its 10th year. DM3 Fest 2013. 50-plus bands. Uh... The Convalescence, uh, the Black Order. Um, there's obviously way more than that, but I don't have them all in my head. We're Divine playing. Prophecy, let's, I believe. Kind of He's a rapper that's going to be performing there. Fifteen dollars for the whole weekend. Three day festival. You can camp. You really? can bring your food, bring your booze, bring your wood for time. a bonfire. What's the date? It is. It we are. It's be? August thirtieth, August thirty first, and September first. Fuck that. That's and cool. even though they're newer bands, Cougars are still invited. I'm booked that weekend. We are playing August thirtieth at eight p.m. That happens. I need to go. Three days, one stage. Next time. And there'll be a canopy and a tent and stuff. Cool. So if it rains, you can still have fun. Good. Where is that again? It is at in Kimball, on Flinch gonna... Ball Road. Like Port Huron. Oh, right okay. Now. You're talking up in that area. So yeah, yeah that's it's, right. it's you like uh, the it's end like, of '94. It's like 50 yeah, minutes no. northeast from Detroit. Oh shit! Cool. cool. Yeah, northeast. Huh? So Get your metal thing. camping gear out. Have yes. That'll be fun. And uh, just contact me 810-334-9864 for tickets. You know he's cool. You heard it here. Do you guys have a Facebook <laughs> Don't be a and bitch. stuff? That's right. Website, dude. Facebook. Yeah, www.facebook.com. Yeah. Middle class assassins. Mm-hmm. We plan on putting on a good show for the metalheads, so. Come. See Come. It. Come see it. Come. Come see it. Come it Believe it. <laughs> Do it. Cool. All right, where can, get, where can they get the CD at? Um, at oh, every hate read show, Vision of Disorder, Dead by Wednesday, or Mayhem Fest. They're passed out for free. Or you get a free one when you order uh, a t shirt or any merchandise from Hateware Inc. You guys find because, in a sense, because uh, metal, <laughs> like real hardcore metal, is really kind of an underground thing. Mm-hmm. To get, is it harder for you to get involved with it, or is it harder for you to, uh, like, almost stay around? In a sense, you know what I'm saying? It's like really, if you're not really unique, you're not going to get in, or it's just. You know it's hard to say. Well, you definitely have to be original. Yeah. Which is very hard. Um, because you know what I'm saying. It's so underground. Because there's only, you know what I'm saying. Well, yeah. Because there's only so much people to dig from you know what i'm saying right that's the yeah i get what you're saying yeah <laughs> it's hard to reach out to other people besides just metalheads which right. thankfully even people that like a lot of rap or other styles of music can get no i think us. i think where he's going with that is that it's hard to be original when you're doing this kind of music because a lot of times it can all blend into each other and be almost the same thing and it takes a certain amount of class or whatever, <laughs> no class. To like think outside the box and become 
different. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. it can all be very stereotyped. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I like that you guys have two singers. That's definitely different. It really is. That's cool. And it gives your vocal cords a little bit of a rest in between each other's things. Because that's going to be hard, man. I sing. Barely, but yeah. To me, it's, like, yeah, to me it's hard to keep up on a show, but the fact that you guys have to scream all night is just crazy to me. I would think the next day to wake up like... <laughs> the first couple it's shows like were a little water. rough for me. <laughs> be bad. Well, on stage, yeah, definitely need some water. Yeah. And, and you're not, I mean, he's puked like sometimes <laughs> singing, so. Yeah. Oh, good for you, man. Now that's yeah, hardcore. Cool. Just, just um, barf and then just keep going. Oh, that's yeah, hardcore. You're supposed to that drink That is the spirit brother of Gigi Allen, bro. Yeah. <laughs> you don't stop no matter what happens. Do you guys want to know a really cheesy tip? That yes. was given to me by Katy Perry, actually. Uh-oh. Did you kiss the girl? Do you like that? <laughs> no. <laughs> she has the secret to singing? She has the secret to sever. So I have to kiss the girl before I go on gummy stage? gummy bears. Gummy bears. And melt them in boiling or very, very hot water and drink them before you sing because it coats your con your throat completely. I thought lemon juice right. helped or something. Lemon juice. No, no, no. That'll dry it out. That'll dry it out. Alcohol dries it out for me. Yeah. yeah but gummy bears coats Weed dries my throat out. Ooh. Ooh. Not, Ooh. Not, let alone forget the lyrics. Yeah. Yeah. Oil. Gummy sure. bears melt. That helps. It sure yeah. does. Yeah. I've used the oil in the studio. There you go. Tip yeah. of the day. I, I use honey. See, I can't do I that. Bought, it's weird. Because um, honey actually, in the studio is a little bare. I bought yeah. Singer's Throat Spray. And... I bought a bunch of different kinds, and they were all really gross tasting, except for one that was pina colada, and it was called Singer something. It was in a little blue bottle, and it tasted delicious, and it worked great. It was hmm. just a little spray. You kind of went and lubed up your stuff, and you were like, Money shot. We want to see that again in slow motion. Yes. Nice. Nice. Anyhow, <laughs> you, know, you guys are awesome. You're out on tour. We're going to party. We're yeah, going to take gonna some more pictures. Pictures and, and all like that great oh, stuff. Yeah. Maybe give away some more tickets. Who knows? We got some t-shirts here. Yeah, I'll like, give away some t-shirts. They're yeah. kind of big. But. That's all right. We like big t-shirts. We're small people. We're are you guys signed people. or are you independent? Independent. Independent at the moment. Are you guys looking? We're looking, looking as long as somebody's willing to work with us and uh, Give you not change us. Cause this we is one of our more simple yeah. shirts. Yeah. No class assassins. Found a finger mouth with Boris and our little gun yes. logo. There you go. One of those cool t-shirts. We got to get like some that. more made. We'll get some more made. All right. Mouth we got made. different styles. Yeah. yeah, you have the really good one. Mm -hmm. yeah. The one that fits. It's the newer ones, too, oh, with yeah. the logo. Once again, the website or the Facebook? Facebook.com slash no class assassins. Check them out. And we got a Twitter. But I think you guys are pretty classy, even if you say you have no class. I think you're cool. <laughs> Thanks for the insult. Hey, we learned some metal. <laughs> Thanks for the insult. All right. Thank you for no class of says and check them out. Yeah! Come, yeah! Coming to a record store or a concert theater near you. That's pretty good. Oh. oh yeah. yeah. I know. Oh, kicking over the beard. Don't kick over your speed. beard. Yeah. Yeah. I drank it all. So I think we need to give away our second mystery skull clue. I think so too. How are we doing there, Marshall? What time is it, my it's friend? It's almost 10 o'clock. It is nearly 10 o'clock. Nearly 10 o'clock. Nearly. So we'll give away our second clue. Yeah. Where is our mystery skull guest? Hopefully um, he's coming. He'll be here. I know right. him. He'll all be right. here. Nope. All right. Number two. All right. You can find him doing his thing at many concerts or wrestling events. Ah, okay. You can find him doing his thing at many concerts or wrestling events. When he's not there, he's at home when he's watching not wrestling. Texting. When he's not texting. When he's not texting. That's okay, we'll give away the thing. first clue one more time. One of his best senses is not his sight or smell, but it's the way he hears. Got it. It smells like ass in this place. <laughs> <laughs> Will somebody light a motherfucking incense, please? The incense blowing in my face. Oh my god. Well, bring it over here. Please. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why it does. Well, Dave's in the bathroom. That could be the reason why. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Anyhow. We're so professional. I, I just fucking love this. We are. All right, yes. Um, many concerts, don't many, me. I know I don't stay. many concerts, You're many wrestling matches. Not he's me. not texting on his phone. And if my you know dad. this, if you That's know this person, your dad. My dad. If you know this Bring person, then uh, you'll know. Who's 
that's good. Exactly There's a tray up there. Honestly. Oh, you oh, should get that off. So who oh, are we kind of right now? Who's next? I do. So you bring that up. Let's bring it I mean, we'll talk, uh, what we talked about the other Aww, oh, thank you, Stone. Thank you. Oh my God. There you go. Now it's better. I gotta, I gotta pee though. Clear up that stink. Right, we'll stink ass. <laughs> I think we, could, I think we figured it out. We just lost it. We just lost a couple of viewers right now. The ladies are gonna get naked. Anyhow, what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna bring out our new addition to the dungeon. We have Miss Amy List, who is gonna be joining us right now. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, she's gonna be coming out right now. Amy List is returning to the stage right now. Welcome back to the dungeon. Where's my girlfriend? She's coming back. She's, okay. She's in the restroom. She's in the restroom. She gets to take a break when I'm here. You can I can cover well enough. Exactly. And then I can hug on you. I don't think you want to. I think something stinks. It might be me. I don't, I don't know. know. I don't me? smell a goat over here. Me? I really don't smell a goat. I don't smell too much. I can't smell anything with all this cocaine jammed up my fucking nose. Anyhow, yeah, that's so a, that's the first thing I noticed oh, about him. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Amy List, by the way, just want to let you know, Amy's going to start Hi. hanging out in the dungeon more and more. She's actually going to be doing hey, baby. a little column on our website. <laughs> She's going to be putting up some cool-ass photographs to go with that column. Yay! Yay! We're going to so. get, like, a little weekly thing going on I'm here. A, I'm a fickle. Awesome! So. Good, we need that. I think that's very Yeah, cool. like, everybody wants my opinion, you know, so that's... We love your opinion, and we love your pictures. <laughs> Thank you, darling. I heard that you got to be all close up to Hailstorm, and... Dude, it was awesome! Were you a fan of them before the show? Well, it, there were a couple of songs that I liked. I hadn't really had a lot of exposure to them, but... It, it just being that close, it doesn't matter who it is. Tell me after that show you weren't in love with her, though. Oh, well, oh she's a teeny gosh. tiny little princess, and she comes out there with this giant guitar, and, and she her kicks voice. her ass. Her I mean, voice. it's amazing. Oh, my, look. Look. I know, ah! right? <laughs> she, when she sang that song, Break, Break In, I think it's called, and she was on the piano, I literally was in tears. I looked over, he's laughing and then I at me, broke and up I was like, and she started smacking me. <laughs> I, was, I was like in tears, I'm like, oh my god, her, just, she was moving me, her voice, and just, she, uh. The same thing happened to me during Everlast, because Everlast was amazing. We walked, oh, yeah? we were parking we and him. walking in. No, we didn't get to see him, but we heard the concert as we parked That's when you called me, I was shooting Everlast, ah, so. Ah, got it, got it, Yeah. Got it. But he's uh, he definitely looks different than he used to, but my man still can sing. Like, oh, we heard. It. it sounded great. So we walked in, um, walked around. The, the main thing I can say is that they used to do the fireworks there. Um, I think they weren't, like, I don't think they're equipped <clears throat> enough to do the fireworks like they do in Mount Clemens. It was just so hard to park and so hard. To, we got lucky because it was blocked off. Yeah. To turn, and we got in finally after a couple miles, and we got in the line, and the cop was basically saying, "Hey, you can go in the parking lot. And you guys go." And we were one of the people that they allowed us to pull in. <laughs> I don't know what happened. We got to lucky. We no, we got lucky. Allowed I to I'm not telling yeah. you where I parked. <laughs> I'm not telling you where I parked. <laughs> but I you play right next to the place because you have seniority. Uh, well, great. I actually got a gator ride back to my car at the end of the night, so I was pretty happy about that. Well, I Look wish at you. That I, you know. <laughs> Look at you. Sorry. The but I just, only. I what? felt like it was cool, but I just felt like it wasn't large enough to equip that many people. Here's the deal. There. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with this, because I don't necessarily disagree with you. It's it's the first year that it's been done at this venue. They used it's to also, do it back when I was a little. Now hold on. They're new though. owners, honey. Right, right, so right, So right. they've restructured the whole thing, and when you do anything the first season, yeah. you have a lot to learn. Yeah. And I mean, they did that with Orion. I mean, James Hetfield got up and, and said, you know, we got a lot of stuff that we got to fix, and it made the it made the crowd feel a lot better that they actually admitted to that. I right. think. Right. Yeah. So you know, I got to give them credit because there were all. Oh, Oh, shit load of people there. Yeah. I mean, I don't think they were even expecting yeah. it no. at all. Especially was, after no. Friday night and the monsoon. So, right. I mean, it, with the mud and everything they expected, you know, maybe not so many people show up. But they really had a good lineup, and now they know what to expect. And hopefully we'll get the parking situation under control. Cause that was we like this shit. We made out. We're like, this is the shit. Because we actually ended up in a better spot than anyone. Because they're like... 
We ran out of room, so we're just parking people in the front. We're like, cool. <laughs> Awesome. Yeah. Like we did, we ran into a great parking spot, but I can imagine the people in front of us got completely. But there was screwed. something. Why didn't Kelly... you get on the hood of the car? That is my question. Cops don't like me. No, yeah. Oh, my magic yeah. does not work with no, police no, no. officers. In fact, it does the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> oh, honey, I would have yes. helped you. Cops love me for some reason. Yeah. They, yeah. they yeah. might <laughs> like the opposite. Usually, because she's but trying to bust them. She's like, usually oh, trying to bust them in the head. Usually, we might be running on a tape on that one. Just so you know. Anyhow. Um. I like I like the setup and whatnot. I thought it was cool. I just I'm favorable to Mount Clemens, and the only reason is is because I'm from Mount Clemens, and my dad lives oh. on my dad lives on. Here's the city, southbound or um, yeah, southbound Gratiot that goes down. Oh, look! Oh, we their baby. The I know they're so pretty. <laughs> <laughs> but my dad lives on southbound Gratiot, so we park right there and we walk. You know what I'm saying? Well, like, so it's completely selfish, is what you're saying. Yes, absolutely. Oh, yeah, I'm pay. just saying. We didn't have to pay. A bunch of I'm coming to work on your lawn. You know. Right. Yeah. Kind of so I'm, you know. All right. I'm a little partial, but I did have a good time. I wish I would have been able to get up closer to Hailstorm because I'm a huge fan. And it, I was y'all so would have called me. But a Ella did a earlier. great job of blocking, yeah, and she got you. Yeah, I got us all the way to the front of where yep. they would let yeah. us. And then yeah. Yeah. Bitch was like, "Excuse me." I know. Behind you. I'm like, we don't give a fuck. Get the fuck out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> He's like six foot tall. We're both tiny. We're the fucking sheep. Well, and, and that's literally the closest. I, these last few months are the closest I've ever been at shows. And it's overwhelming because all of a sudden, you know, I've got CJ from Drowning Pool like, Oh, right down in my face. Throwing a schwanker in your face, huh? Well, really? you this it. is really oh, funny oh, because. My, my girlfriend used to manage Drowning Pool. She lives in L.A. And I was holding up my phone with her picture on it to him. And he's like, hey! So it was it was a personal picture more than... I've had a good than, Drowning Pool story. I'm sure you do. Hi, uh, <laughs> Joni and my girlfriend Jenny, we yeah. were hanging out with um, Dan Donegan and the band Disturbed and whatnot. I was kind of... A little fling with Dan Donegan and whatnot. And uh, we're in the party buses and stuff. And Dan takes us, me, Jenny, and Joni, into the drowning pool bus. This is before their original singer had passed away. This was a couple weeks before. And we're in there, and there's an orgy going on in the back. Like a complete and total huge orgy. Right. And I don't remember that Joining in? much. No, like, <laughs> no, no, but listen, oh, I wake up the next day, and number one, I knew I ate, you know, and you wake up and you're like, what the fuck, man? I, uh, uh, like, what did I eat last night? And we couldn't remember where we went. I'm like, McDonald's, I'm looking for bags in the car or whatnot. No, I find a new Parthenon receipt. We went to the new Parthenon and ate. We didn't even remember. But no, the best part is I found this huge ass bra. Huge. <laughs> in my purse. And it was because when we were in drowning it, it pools. Yours? No, when we were in drowning <laughs> pools tour bus and that crazy orgy was going on, Joni grabbed this bra and she shoved it in my purse. <laughs> I woke up the next day, I'm like, who is this? And I was laughing. I'm like, oh my God, when I thought about what it was, I'm like, <laughs> recap, oh recap, what the hell is wow. that? I just can't believe we didn't remember going to the new Parthenon and eating. I can't believe That's you didn't join in the orgy. I would just stuck around and ate snacks. What the fuck? Like, like That's, like That's, That's where I'm the bad That's why I'm the bad person to have at the party, because I don't drink and I have a camera. So at 2 o'clock in the morning, y'all better be looking for me. Fuck that. <laughs> I got a camera, I smoke and I drink. I have film at the same time. All right, baby, I got you. I got you. you can't help it. It's, it's a job. <laughs> A girl's got to make a living. It's a good job. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. So, um, besides that, besides Hailstorm this weekend, did you get to photograph any of the other bands and stuff? Oh my gosh, together? I was running in between everything. I mean, I started out on Friday with Core Effect, who I love, and Althea and Joe I know already. And so I got to take some group shots of them after they played. Then it rained like crazy, and I ended up over in the amphitheater, which it was country night. 
Ooh. Well, you know, oh, that's right. I like him. You got to hang out with Randy. I just gotta say, I just gotta say, Joe Kane is a really fun dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the name like Joe Kane, you know. Hello. Yeah, you know, pretty correct. And uh, you know, he he recognized me from being up front shooting, and he's like, "Hey, little girl, would you like a drink?" And I'm like, uh, "No, but I'll take a picture," you know. And he's like, "Okay, cool." So I stood there uh, with him for cool. a while. And uh, but then I got asked to do my first meet and greet, which was Randy Travis, which, you know, say what you will, but dude is a legend. And, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. He was, and he's a hell of a drinker, too. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. But the <laughs> nicest part about it was is he didn't have to talk to me at all. No. And he, he walked right up. Because he's country. The thing, to you. And he shook my hand. I know, right? Because I'm metal. Did you get to meet Saliva? Um, well, I met them actually back in January, so I had to miss their, their show to Jonathan, be over. Jonathan, the guitar player, he's been a good friend of mine for a long time. Were you at the All Around in January? No. I, oh, you know, see, I, I shot him there. The only reason I... It's not like I quit going to saliva shows and whatnot, but it's like a lot of times he'd call and ask me, bring the girls, da 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 da, VIP, and it's like I, you know, I have to work or whatnot, and I didn't want to be that girl. Should be free, baby. Be, I, well, I just ain't gonna bring all these girls. Out <laughs> I'm, old I'm old now, man. I'm old now, but I love you, Jonathan from Saliva. You're the best. Sorry that I knocked your uh, CD of cocaine over. No. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Oh my god, for real! There for we go. real! We'll talk about Sorry that when Stormy comes on. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh. So, so now, how do you like it being in the front row? Is this like your big, your the I biggest arena? It's, it's the dream, you know. I mean, I'm I'm living. Have you ever been in any other arena where you've been in the front row, like Joe Lewis or Cobo? Not or yet, and that's one? that's what I'm I'm looking to step up to next. You yeah. know, it's, I've only been doing this for a year. Okay. So seriously and professionally. Right. So the fact that I'm house photographer at Freedom Hill to me is, is amazing. Is yeah. Really. Awesome. An, a cool thing to do in one year. Yeah. And you're a great so, person. And you get to be a house photographer of the Detroit Dungeon, too. Look at we that. have so much fun together. We always do. Wow. I know. <laughs> and that's the thing is that I, I work with people. 